All right, so here we go. Let me just double check. All right. Good evening, class. So my name is Coach Charina. Hindi pala. My name is Charina. You can call me Cha. And in today's class, we are going to discuss about our um, WooCommerce uh, plugin or how to build a website using WooCommerce plugin and also Elementor. So I created ako lang already ng PDF file about our discussion for today. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a testimonial page using the rich reviews by Starfish. So guys, what you can see on the screen is our demo page. Okay, demo page lang to ng ating gagawin. So what I added here is etong testimonials na to on what you can see on the screen. And you can see here na great customer service, may mga ganya exceeds expectation, and then read more reviews. Last time, I remember na may, may nag-recommend na i-discuss ko or maghanap ako ng plugin where we can add like a review, tapos magdederecho na agad siya sa WordPress, magpapakita na agad siya. So, ito yung nahanap kong plugin. It's called the Rich Reviews plugin. So, ito yung itsura niya. Tell us about your experience. Magkukusa na siya. Overall rating, and then write a review, great customer service, ito yung kanyang itsura, alright? So, this is the demo page that we can, uh, that I added for you guys. So, et, ang susunod naman is edit shop page by adding multiple products, okay? Adding multiple products and then using custom CSS. Uh, ito na yung sinasabi ko na mag-add tayo ng a little bit ano lang, uh, coding lang, okay? Sa ating uh, WordPress, sa pagbibuild ng... Uh, ating online uh, shop, okay? Alright, so ito yung kanyang itsura ngayon. I created this page, ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ibang-iba siya sa ating, uh, ito yung ating ini-edit ngayon, guys. And ibang-iba siya dito sa shop page na meron tayo ngayon. Alright, this is the difference between this, yung ating uh, editing na web page, and then our demo page. Alright, so let me just show you. Ito yung itsura ng uh, default shop page kapag ka you're using like the uh, customized um, theme. Okay, ito yung default na itsura niya. And I made this. Alright, so ganito yung magiging itsura ng ating uh, shop page by using the WordPress only itself. Okay, so yan yun. And then we're gonna add like, kung mapapansin nyo dito guys sa ating uh, editing page, dalawa lang yung nagpapakita. Nahirap, dito ako nahirapan kasi dalawa lang yung nagpapakitang product. Dati, ang dami niyan. And then, naganap ako ng way for us to view all of the uh, products right here. And that's when we add the coding sa, uh, sa WooCommerce or sa CSS na ating ilalagay mamaya sa WordPress. And then, next discussion is, eto, si Edit Cart menu, menu Icon to using uh, plugin, WooCommerce Menu Cart. So, eto siya ngayon, guys. Ito, itong nasa gilid. Top right corner of the screen. Kung makikita nyo dito, meron siyang uh, icon na it looks like a cart. Okay, ito ay plug-in mismo, guys. Plug-in na gagamitin natin for you to have this kind of icon. Kasi mas maganda naman siya. Most of the websites, guys, ay ganito na yung itsura niya. Alright, may cart na talaga. Kasi kung ating, dito sa ating um, editing page, ito yung cart pa rin natin. Ayan. So, yung, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Wala pa siyang, ano, wala pa siyang icon. So, it's much better for us to add the icon, right? Mas cute siya tignan. Okay, and then next is editing checkout page using field to checkout manager of WooCommerce. So, what does this mean? Guys, ito yung nakikita natin sa checkout page, alright? Sa checkout page kasi, uh, meron dito yung mga billing information na need mo i-add, Okay. Wait lang yung aso. Nararinig nyo ba? Sorry about that. Okay. Maliit pa siya. Okay, so just to um, view or to just a quick view, ito yung magiging itsura ng ating checkout page. So kung makikita nyo dito, pwede mong i-edit kung ano yung nakalagay dito guys. Sa default lang kasi na WooCommerce, walang, walang way for you to edit the, um, the plugin itself or the checkout page itself. Ah. Alright, so ito siya. Mamaya i-edit natin yan. And it will look like this, guys. Ito yung magiging itsura niya. Wait lang. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. 
Ayan. Kasi mas maganda guys, if we edit our checkout page, okay? If we edit our checkout out page sa two columns. So, compare mo dito, two columns siya, nandito sa right right side yung your order, and then dito sa left side si billing details. Mas maganda siya kaysa dito, kasi nandito si billing details, shipping address, and then mag-scroll ka pa pababa para ma-view yung your order. So, yun yung... Parang ang hirap, ang hirap mag-order uh, ng product, di ba? So, mas okay pag ganito. Alright, so I'm going to show you how you can do this. I actually use like the custom CSS para magawa to kasi walang way sa WooCommerce plugin itself. Alright, so let's get started. Those are the topics that we are going to tackle for today, guys. Ah. Ayan. And this are the... Uh, um, I'm going to send this to you, guys. Sasend ko to sa inyo lahat. Alright, so let's go now here to our um, website and I'm going to log in now to our WordPress. And for those newbie guys, WordPress yung gamit. Pag WordPress ang gamit mo, alright, meron kang sariling URL. So it's your domain name forward slash WP dash admin. Alright, so naririnig nyo pa rin ba yung sa aso? Malakas? Hindi naman. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so ito yung magiging itsura ng ating dashboard, guys. So kung may kita nyo yan, ito yung ating um, login page for WordPress. So I'm going to log in right now. Ayan, let's see. Para makita nyo yung back end ng ating WordPress. Super cute. Okay lang po. Oh, thank you. Alright, so eto na siya si WordPress dashboard. For those newbie guys, eto yung magiging itsura ng iyong dashboard or yung website editing mo or web hosting platform mo kapag ka mag -e edit ka na ng website using WordPress, okay? Um, sa left side of the screen, all of the tools that you can use. So meron tayo dito yung post where you can add some posts. Yung mga blogs, madalas dito nilalagay yan, yung mga blogs na about your daily life or sa mga clients mo, for example. Then media, guys. Media is where you are going to add all of your um, uh, yung mga pictures, mga videos, mga tools mo para makapag-build ka ng website. Alright? So, dito mo siya i-upload sa media. Alright? And then next is uh, pages. So, dito ka na mag-recreate ng mga pages kung saan nakakapag-edit ka or nakakapag- create ka ng mga menu. Ito, dito sa taas. Ayan. So, pages yan na create So, bawat makikita mo dito, bawat link dito is one page. Okay? And by the way, guys, I created before like a one-page website only. Um, it is on my YouTube video kung gusto nyo. Alright. So, ito siya. So, dito create yung pages. Okay? Meron ka dito cart, checkout, home, my account, privacy, and then sample page, ayan. And dito lahat yon sa pages, okay? Then comments, guys, this is where all of the um, mga comments na ina-add ng mga customer mo if they are going to review your product, okay? Dito yon magpapakita, ayan. And then WooCommerce is the plugin that we're using right now for our online store. So, ano yung itsura ng backend niya? Yung itsura ng backend ng, Word, ng WooCommerce and dito yung kung saan ka mag uh, mag process ng mga shipping, ayan magpa-process ng products. Ito yung itsura niya, okay? So meron dito yung settings sa gilid, coupons, pwede kang mag-create ng coupons. Yung orders mo, ito yung magiging itsura ng orders mo. Ayan magpapakita sa gilid. Status is the status of your WooCommerce, okay? And then, login pop-up, ito yung nilagay nating plug-in before, guys, na para makapag-create ka ng login page, alright? So, yan siya. Ito siya, si WooCommerce plugin. So, napaka-useful niya, guys, alright, when it comes to managing your online store. So, yan yung pinaka-famous na plug-in for you to create like an online store. And then, next is the products. So, dito ka nag add ng mga products for you to you know, sell online. So, pag clinic mo to si All Products, okay, may kita mo lahat yan. Ayan, si Harry Potter theme, music box, and by the way, guys, commercial, yung mga binibenta ko dito is Harry Potter. Um, hindi ko talaga siyang binibenta fully, ah, uh, kasi demo website lang to. Kung baga, nag naganap lang ako ng mga magagandang Harry Potter merch, merch okay, para i-add dito, para mapakita ko sa inyo. Okay, so dito ka mag-a-add ng mga product. 
Alright? And then categories is yung nandito sa ating uh, demo page. If you can see right here, clothes, books, uh, young adult fiction, ito yung tinatawag na categories. Okay? Alright, so then the WH form, alright, so dito ka nag add ng mga form na like the subscribe form, email form, contact us form, dito ka nag add ng form, ayan, sa w, um, WP forms. Elementor, guys, ito na yung ating plugin na ginagamit for drag and drop, drag and drop feature, okay, and um, napaka ganda niyang gamitin kasi... Guys, sa mga newbie dyan, WordPress doesn't come with like a drag and drop feature. Kailangan mo siyang installan ng application where you can use like a drag and drop feature. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, it's like a cell phone na pwede kang mag-add uh, ng kung ano-anong application to make your life easier. Okay, para mas mapadali kang makapag-build ng website for your clients. Kasi guys, ang WordPress is very time-consuming. Okay, pag sinabing time consuming, ang dami talaga niyang pwedeng gawin, ang dami niyang dami niyang ek, mga ano, mga editing na page or like this, mga tools na pwede mong gawin. So you need to be wise na kailangan mo makapag-add ng mga plugin for you, okay? All right. So you can see here templates. Templates is like the uh, yung mga nabibuild mong templates sa website, yung mga itsura na ganto. Ayan, so this is, uh, these are all templates, guys. Para, yung templates na sinasabi is, parang ano na siya, created na siya na website, uh, created na siya na template pala or page. Ang gagawin mo na lang is to edit yung content mismo. Okay? Alright, so next is, plugins. So, dito ka nag install ng mga plugins, okay? Ito yung mga application na ini-install mo sa iyong WordPress para mapadali yung buhay mo, Okay? So, dito yan, si Elementor, dito ko yan in-add, um, in okay? So, yan yung mga ating Envato Elements. Ito, lahat to nakatulong siya for us to build the website. Um, if you're wondering what are these plugins, guys, you need to watch the previous videos or tutorials sa ating page, okay? And then, next is our user. User is where you are going to change your password, manage your profile. So, ito siya. Ito yung ating user. Guys, pwede kang mag-add ng multiple user. For example, you would like someone to help you out na makapag-edit din ng website or gusto mong makapag-view ano, makapag sila ng website before you publish it. You can add a user, okay? You just have to click here, add new, tapos mag-select kayo ng role ng mismong uh, tao na gusto niyang bigyan ng login, okay? To help you out build the website. Tools is where you are going to just export, analyze your data. I am not really using this. So, hayaan nyo lang siya. Settings is really important, guys. Dito nyo na-add yung or na-edit yung mga custom URL nyo. URL is what you can see here on the top corner of the screen, okay? Yung sinesearch mismo. Ito siya guys, ayan, ito si URL. Once na may in-edit ka dyan guys, minsan hindi na gumagana yung website mo. So you really need to be careful ha. Okay, so yan yung ating settings. Dito ka din nag-a-add ng mga homepage, mga ganyan, alright. So I already discussed this before, you can watch the previous um, YouTube videos. So now, let's just go ahead and go to our editing page, alright. Okay, so let's go here now to our dashboard. So first thing that I would like to do is to add the ito, add testimonial page by a Starfish. So it, ito yung una nating gagawin, si testimonials. Na kapag ka-clinic ko to, magkakaroon ako ng page where our customers can review your website, okay? And then, magda-direct na siya na magpapakita sa page nyo, alright? So, first thing that we can do here is for us to install a plugin. So, uh, Rich Stars is a plugin, okay guys, na pwede mong gamitin for you to do that kind of page. So, ano yung una natin gagawin is to go to the plugins here and then go and click on add new since mag-add tayo ng panibagong plugin, alright? So, add new, okay, and then search for the, yeah, rich, rich reviews by Starfish. 
Alright, so once you click there, eto na siya, magpapakita si Rich Reviews uh, by Starfish. Eto yung itsura niya guys, meron siyang stars and the word itself or yung title itself magpapakita na dito sa gilid, okay? I'm going to click on install now, alright? And then may kita nyo dito is activate, so click on activate. Alright, so once you click on activate, magpapakita siya sa dashboard mo. Okay, so now you notice on the left side of the screen, meron ka ng rich reviews. May iba't iba siyang uh, settings, instructions, pending reviews, approved reviews, options, and add reviews. So if I click on this one, sa rich reviews plugin, ito yung magpapakita. Guys, this is like a coding or HTML or short code na tinatawag nila for you to add on your page. So, kumbaga, without this, hindi magpapakita tong page na to. Okay, let me show you how. Alright, so as you can see here, ito yung kanyang um, application or function for those kinds of, ito, for this kinds of short code. Ano yung magagawa niya? First is the rich review show. So, it says right here that this is the main short code for this plugin by default. Alright, so it will show the first three global reviews which have been approved. So, eto siya yung sinasabi ko. Eto yung mismong approved na na, na, na review na nakuha ni Rich Reviews, okay? And then, uh, note that this short code, its own, own this will not, dis not display, okay, an average overall score. So, may kanya-kanyang function yan. So, this is for this page. Ayan, si uh, Great Customer Service, yung title. So, ito yan. Si Review Title, ito siya. And then, si Rating, yung mismong star dito. And then, si Review Content is yung mismong content ng nireview sa'yo. Okay, yan yung magpapakita. It says here that it will be the first three. First three na review sa'yo. Next is the Rich Review Show, number eight. So, ibig sabihin nito, this will show first 8 approved global reviews. So, ibig sabihin, mas dadami pa to kung gusto mong gamitin yung code na yun, okay? And then, next is the review show all. So, ibig sabihin, kung gusto mong magpakita lahat ng review, approved na review, okay? And then, next is yung review shows category page. So, this is by page, kung ano yung nireview nila sa product mo, okay? You can just... You know, show it on a different page. Yung dito sa homepage, pwede mo siyang ilagay dito, pwede mo siyang ilagay dito sa clothes, books, login, my account. So, ganun siya, okay? Next is the review show category. So, this will show the first three approved reviews which have the category of FOO. You might also use categories of games, iPhone, beers, uh, sorry, bears pala. The categories here are determined by categories. Paulit-ulit yung category niya, no? Okay, and then, rich review, uh, reviews show category all. So, ibig sabihin lahat ng nireview na about the categories, okay? And then, rich review show by numbers. So, it show the first six approved reviews which have the category of bar. Again, you may use any category and if you specify the category page, then the first page approved review. So, may mga specific na ano lang, word lang ata sila or page pala. And then, reviews show all category. So, this is for the, all of the categories. And by this one, okay guys, ito lang yung gagamitin ko dito. Ito at saka ito. Ayan. And then, next is the reviews form. So, eto yan, guys. Itong reviews form na to. So, tell me how you feel. We can change this one. Okay. Ayan siya. Name, email, review title, rating, review content. Okay. Ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. Next is yung review snippet. Okay. Eto, this short code will aggregate um, average score based on all approved reviews. So, eto yung magiging itsura niya, guys. Eto. Overall rating, 5 5 out of 5 based on 2 reviews. Ayan, ganyan siya. So, pwede mong i-edit to. Ayan, ipapakita ko sa inyo on how we can do this, okay? Alright, let's get started using this short codes, guys. And, hold on, let me just show you. Pending reviews pala, guys. This is where you are going to see yung mga hindi pa na-approve na na reviews. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano itsura niya mamaya. And then, approved reviews is where your approved reviews are. And then options here, pwede kang makapag-edit dito ng mga 
Ayan, tools mo, approved by um, admin. So, ibig sabihin ito yung user na pwede mong gamitin. Ayan. Sila yung mga pwedeng mag-edit or mag-approve ng iyong uh, preview. Okay? And then, add your review. Pwede kang mag-add ng sarili mong review. Okay? If you find some reviews on Facebook, you can actually paste it here or copy it here. Okay? Alright, so now let's get started. I'm going to add a new page, okay, where it says um, review page. Ito, mag a ako ng panibagong page ngayon. And uh, once I click on pages on the left side of the screen, you can see here on the top left na meron siyang add new. Okay, add new page. Alright, so let me just click on this. Add new page and then uh, here we go. Medyo matagal siya. Okay. Yung bagal niya oh. Kasi hindi ko pa na-optimize yung WordPress ko. Kaya medyo mapagal pa siya. Mabagal pa siya mag-load. Bilisan mo. Okay, here we go guys. So you can actually add your title. Okay, so let's um, make this review page. Ayan. And then, guys, you can see here, edit with Elementor. You can actually use your WordPress itself. Kung may kita nyo dito, on the top left corner of the screen, may kita nyo yung plus sign. Okay, pwede kayong mag-edit ng paragraph, um, image, heading, and then yung short code na sinasabi. Pwede yung gamitin si WordPress itself without using Elementor, okay? But on this case, um, since we are using Elementor, okay, we're going to click on Elementor, edit with Elementor, kasi mas madami siyang magagawa. Mas madaming um, functions, kumbaga like makakapag-add ka ng mga... Um, animations, colors, mga ganon. In, unlike dun sa default na WordPress um, application itself. So, this is the um, difference between using the WordPress itself and using the Elementor. Now, guys, as you can see on the left side of my screen, may kita nyo dito yung Elementor na functions or application. So, as you can see, meron tayong elements tapos global, Okay. And then, these are what we call the widgets. So, yung widgets na yan, guys, pwede mo siyang gamitin for you to edit um, a page. For example, uh, insert section. So, you can add like a heading as well. Okay, ayan. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo. I'm going to hover my mouse on the left side and then drag it at the middle of the screen. And there you go. Meron ka ng page where you can add a title. Now, as you can see on the left side of the screen, once you drag a widget, magkakaroon siya ng tatlong button sa taas. One is the content, the other one is the style, and the other one is the advance. Okay? So, sa content, guys, of course, dito muna i-edit kung ano yung laman ng iyong page. Okay? So, for example, yung uh, add your heading title, you can edit that as, you can edit that as welcome to or... Leave your reviews now. Parang ganon. Leave your reviews now. So, as you can see, guys, yung tinatype ko dito, hindi nagre-reflect. That's because yung font, font na color ko is white. <laughs> ano ka siya i-edit? Okay? Once I go here sa leave your reviews, gusto ko makita yung ano itsura niya kasi white yung font ko. I'm going to click on style. Alright? And then text color. And then change it into... Ayan, black. Okay, so yan siya. So, may kita mo na dito yung leave your reviews. Going back to the content, guys. Alright. Now, you can see here, pag clinic mo to, pwede siyang mapunta sa isang link. But it's up to you. Um, I don't want to do that kasi wala naman akong ibang pag uh, pepaysan pa niyan pag clinic ko tong si leave your reviews. Next is yung um, size. You can actually change it into small. Change it into medium. Change it into large or XL. Ayan. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. So, let's just leave it as XL. And then, on the HTML tag, ito na yung uh, pwede kang mag-change ng font. Okay? So, usually, this is not working if it's you're using heading. Okay? And then, the alignment, guys, you can change it into center, left, right, and then yung justified lang. So, we are going to do it right. Ay, hindi pala. Center. Okay. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya, guys. So, meron na tayong title. Okay. Next is yung style. Let's go to the style. Ibig sabihin kung ano yung style ng iyong title. 
Now, click on typography. Ibig sabihin ang typography, guys, dito mo pwedeng i-change yung font. And as you can see here, yung family sa left side of the screen. Okay, if you click on the default, magpapakita ng iba't ibang fonts yan. Like, for example, Arial, yung Tahoma. Ayan, parang taho lang. Times New Roman. Okay, leave your reviews. Yeah, mga ganyan. Mga iba't ibang types of font. Okay? Ayan. So, meron siya dito, guys. Ang dami mong pwedeng gamitin for your font style. So, let's just look for a unique font style. Yung parang mag-aakma sa ating online store. Yung parang medyo parang medyo kulot-kulot. Like, yung mga ano, yung mga medyo scary na font style. Okay, so scroll ka lang, scroll ka lang ng scroll until you find like what's best for your website. And right now, I can't find something here. Okay, let's do this. Google already access. Ay, ito, 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 maganda. Um, see? Yan. Ay, masyadong Jejimon. De, dun lang tayo sa, ito. Yes, serve one. There you go. Medyo ma-pretty siya. Maganda siya, okay? So, okay na ako dyan sa fun style na yan. Now, I'm going to check if I can change the size. So, meron na tayo dun sa content kanina how you can change the size. You can also manage it inside the typography. How? Click on size and then drag it here. Ayan. Pwede mo yan palakihin. Pwede mo yan paliitin. So, ganyan siya. I-drag-drag mo lang yan, okay? And let's just leave it as 60... 60. 60 na lang. Ayan. Hindi, masyadong malaki. Let's do it 50. And then, next is the weight. So, ibig sabihin ng weight, guys, pwede mong mas paggawin pang bold to. Ayan. Mas tataba yung mga font niya. Okay? Or just leave it the way it is. Like that. Yung 100 lang. Or make it as default or normal. Okay? Transform, guys. You can actually change it into a lowercase if you would like to. You can actually do it as uppercase. So, that's how Elementor works. Napakaganda niya, di ba? Lahat, lahat merong ano, napag-isipan talaga nila. Okay, style guys, you can actually change it into italic. Or you can actually change it into just oblique. So, dun lang tayo sa normal. Okay, now decoration guys. You can actually use as well underline the word. Or you can change it into overline. Ayan. And you can change it into line through. Doon lang tayo sa default. Alright, line height guys. You can change it as well here. Pag sinabing line height, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Ayan. Alright, so ganyan siya. So doon lang tayo sa pretty normal lang. Ganyan. Um, 1.9. Okay. Now, the line spacing guys. Ito siya. Magiging itsura niya. Pwede mo siyang i-compress. Pwede mo din siyang paghiwahiwala yun talaga. Alright, so ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. There we go. So, we have now our title page. Now, next is the advanced, the number 3 option. So, if you click on advanced, guys, this is where you are going to add like the animations or the background of your title page. So, now, the margin here, ang ibig sabihin nito, guys, uh, pwede ka mag-add ng margin. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, I'm going to add the margin. Ayan, pwede nyo siyang i-edit. Padding, guys, okay? Pwede ka din mag-add ng padding. It's just, it's not really exactly as the same as margin, but uh, yun, ito yung parang option niya, okay? So, pwede mo siyang i-edit. pag clinic mo tong link together, ibig sabihin mapapalitan siya lahat. pag clinic mo yung unlink, okay, unlink together, pwede mong damihan lang yung dito sa gilid, the right, the left side of the screen, pwede din dito sa, ayan. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. But for me, guys, I'm going to just leave it the way it is. So, yan lang siya. Uh, hindi ko masyadong i-edit. Alright, now is the Z-index. Um, I think I discussed this before. Um, not really sure what this uh, function does. But I use it for me to, like, um, you know, um, nag, parang nag-overline siya. Or go, to, um, basta ganun. I-check nyo na lang yung video ko sa ano, ah. Yung one-page website. Alright, CSS ID. So, ito yung mga CSS classes na yan. Yung about coding coding. We don't really need this. And then, motion effect. Alright, so this is the motion effect na sinasabi ko. Like the animation where you can add like animation. <laughs> Wala lang maisip. Pero ito yung parang ano, parang sa power uh, PowerPoint. Pwede ka mag-add ng mga animation. Parang ganito rin yan. Fade in. Next, fade down. Next, fade left. 
Ayan. So, maganda siya, di ba? May iba't ibang function yan, guys. It's not only fade in, fade out. May zoom in, bouncing. May slide down pa nga. Ayan, di ba? Meron ding rotate. O, oh, ayan. Bonga, di ba? And then, meron din kayong uh, mga head shakes. So, there's a lot of features that you can use here. Alright? So, pwede mo siyang ganim, uh, gawing slow lang. There you go. Pwede mo din siyang gawing fast. Okay? So, ganyan yung pwede mong gawin sa iyong animation. Next is the background. So, the background, guys, pwede kang mag-add like a color. Okay? If you click on the background, there's two of them. One is the normal, one is the hover. Anong pinagkaiba niyan? Yung normal, yung mismong nakikita mo lang. Nakikita mo lang agad. Ayan. Like that. And then, yung hover naman, ibig sabihin, pag hinover ko yung mouse ko dito, magkakaroon ng kulay. So, if I click on hover, and then add like a color on it, Okay, ayan, pag in ko na siya, ganito yung magiging itsura. Uh, Di ba? Amazing. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura ng iyong webpage pag clinic mo si Hover. Now, I don't want that. Let's just leave it. And then, um, gusto ko white lang din siya para simple lang tayo. Um, then, uh, what else? Here on the background as well, you can add a photo. Not only color, but you can also add photos. Okay, you can choose an image just to give you like an overview. Oh, yan. Choose tayo ng isang image and ito yung magiging tsura niya. There you go. So, pwede ka mag-add ng photo dyan. So, hindi mo naman siya malaki pero carry lang siya. Pero okay naman siya. You can actually change yung mismong column niya. Ipapakita ko sa inyo mamaya. So, for example, ganyan. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Hindi ko masyadong gusto. And then, the border, guys. Pwede kang mag-add like a border. Yan. Pwede mong gawing solid. Double. And uh, dotted. Ayan. So, pwede kang mag-add ng mga background na itong title mo. Hover, same as what the feature is um, when you hover a mouse. And then, magkakaroon siya ng frame. Okay? So, none. And then, border after the border positioning. So, you can actually do it as a full width. Pag sinabing full width, guys, pag sinerge ko si website, Yung buong screen ko, ma-occupy niya. Pag sinabing, ano, custom lang or inline, pwede mo siyang i-edit na maliit lang. Ito lang yung page makikita, okay? Responsiveness, guys, pwede mo siyang i-edit or i-hide to your desktop, to your tablet. Pag nagsisearch si customer using their tablet, ma-hide siya bigla. Pag sinabi mong uh, hide uh, on mobile, pwede rin siyang ma-hide using the mobile phone, okay? Next is the custom CSS. This is only available on Elementor Pro. But, I'm going to show you how you can add some custom CSS later, okay? Alright, so that is the options to your Elementor if you're going to use a widget. Next is, as you can see here guys, yung mismong, I know, without the widget, meron pa rin option dito. One is this, on the top left corner of the screen, may kita mo to yung pag hinover mo yung mouse mo. May kita mo yung parang black na may dalawang column. So, this is like the edit column. You can actually... Add another column here. Pag right click mo yung mouse mo, pwede kang mag-duplicate. Pwede kang mag-add new column. Ayan. Add new column. Ayan. Pwede ka ding mag-reset style. Uh, navigator and then delete. So, I don't want this. So, let's delete this. Ayan. So, pwede mong gawin yan. Then, the other one is on the top right corner of the screen. Pwede mong i-edit yung heading. Pag sinabing edit yung heading niya, eto siya. Magdederetsyo na agad siya sa content na naman, style and advance. Now, next is this, the plus sign and the square one with the dotted, uh, six dotted signs and then the X mark. Guys, ibig sabihin nito, nito, yung plus sign is you can add another widget to drag or you can add, another, yeah, you can add a template. Okay, ayan, may mga templates sa yung mismong Elementor. Okay, if you click on this, yung plus sign and then there are three options here, the plus sign again. The templates and then the Envato elements na inad namin as our login na pwede ka makapagkuha ng mga templates. What is this add template? Let me just show you guys. If I click on this, meron ka ng mga template na ready to use na. Pag blocks naman, okay, meron kang specific na hinahanap lang like join a million overview. So, ano yung magiging itsura niya pag ginamit ko to? Ito guys, yung magiging itsura niya. If I click on insert, okay, ayan. Asa na? Get started. Ay, sorry, sorry. Hindi pala siya pwedeng mag-add kapag ka hindi siya nakakonek automatically. Okay, and then uh, let me just show you again. 
Alright, so we can actually add not only the template, but you can actually add, ayan, pages, okay? Hindi ko siya na-connect kasi, kaya hindi ko na siya gagamitin. And then, the Envato na lang. I'll show you the Envato. So, this is the green one. If you click on the green one, which is the Envato elements, meron din siyang mga templates to use or mga blocks, okay, that you can use actually to build your um, website. So, ito siya. Ito yung magiging itsura niya. Let's just use the block, okay? And then, let's just um, show you how. Ito, meron kang hero blocks. Ito yung magiging itsura niya sa hero blocks. Ayan. So, i-insert mo lang siya, guys. Pag sinabing insert lang, ito, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Add to block. Ibig sabihin, mag insert na siya sa mismong page mo. Okay? And then, here we go. Mag-add na siya. So, may automatic ka ng picture. May automatic ka ng heading style. May automatic ka ng button dito. All you need to do, just as mentioned a while ago, is for you to link it or change the the style. Okay? So, pwede mong gawin to. Alright? Just always use the Envato plugins. Mas makaka, you know, you can easily build a website using the blocks or templates. But um, I would recommend na, syempre, gumamit ka rin ng your own template or your own design. Kasi mas matututo ka kapag ka ikaw yung gumagawa ng mismong design mo, di ba? Mahirap naman kasi pag, ano, umaasa ka lang sa iba. Hindi yun about pag-ibig, okay? Alright, so next is, um, now that we have the leave your reviews, let's check now what's next. Tell us about your experience. So, gagawin ko dito, tell us about your experience. Gayahin ko na lang. Okay, para parehas. Tell us about your experience. And then next is, um, eto na siya, si overall rating 5 out of 5 base. So, paano ko siya ginawa? The first thing that I did, guys, is going back here, I add like a text file. Pag sinabing text file, ito si text editor. So, let me go ahead and hover this on my text editor and then drag it at the middle of the page and ito na yung magikita nyo sa left side. So, pwede kayong may default na siyang text, okay? You can actually delete this, alright? So, may kita nyo dito si text editor, pwede kang mag-add ng media, pwede kang mag-add ng form. Pag sinabing text editor, guys, pwede kang mag-change uh, or mag- uh, i I-customize yung content na i-gagawin mo. So, let me go ahead and change this. So, what I'm going to do is to delete this. And then, let's go to our uh, Rich Reviews page. Kung ano yung ginamit kong, kung ano yung ginamit kong short code, okay? So, let me go ahead and click on the ellipses. So, on the top left corner of the screen, may kita nyo dito yung tatlong lines, okay? If you click on this, then... Go to the dashboard setting. So, pag sinabing dashboard setting, ito yung dun kung saan tayo unang nag-open uh, ng uh, WordPress. And then, I'm going to go to Rich Reviews. And then, uh, once you click on Rich Reviews, ito na siya. May kita mo na si short code. So, the first thing that I would like to do is to... Uh, ito, si snippet muna si para mag-show yung average score. Okay, let me just copy this and go back to my other page which is the Elementor page. Alright, now let me hover my mouse at the middle kasi nag-add na ako, di ba, ng ano? Nag-add ako ng ating um, text file. Now, kada nag-add ako ng text or kahit ano, nag-e-edit ng page, nagiging white siya, di ba? So, how can you change that? All you need to do is hover your mouse ear on the left side of the screen and may kita nyo dito si default colors. So, I'm going to click on default colors. As you can see here, yung primary ko is white. So, I'm going to change that into black. Black. Black block. Grabe naman yung accent. Hindi, black lang. Ayan. Para ilokanong ilokano. Black. <laughs> Ayan. So, you change ko lang siya into black. Ayan. And then, uh, let me go ahead and click on apply. And then, uh, let me go back to my text page. So, i-hover ko lang yung mouse ko dito. Then, going back here. Ayan na siya. Then, I'm going to add na yung ating um, snipping tool. Ayan. Which reviews is snippet. So, sa una, ganito lang yung magpapakita. Okay? Ganyan lang siya. Akalain nyo, paano to nagiging ganun? Alright? So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya, guys. Um, let me go ahead and click on the bottom icon. And then, it says here, Preview Changes. Just click on the Preview Changes. Before you publish, you can actually click on Preview Changes, okay? 
para makita nyo muna yung itsura. There you go. So, meron na siyang star dito sa left side of the screen. Okay? Meron na siyang star. Over, overall rating is um, 0 out of 5 base. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. Okay? Going back right here, guys. Gagayahin natin kung ano yung nasa demo page natin. Alright? So, which is the review page. So, as you can see here, nasa middle siya. And may picture siya sa gilid. Ibig sabihin, dalawang column siya. So, going back here, mag add ako ng other column. Okay? Let me just hover my mouse here at the middle and then add new column. There you go. Meron na akong isa for my picture, isa for the rich reviews snippet. Now, I'm going to change the font of what I can see here sa mismong page na to. Kasi masyadong maliit. Papalakihin natin. Now, all you need to do is just um, have this... Ayan, i-control A mo lang siya para ma-select all lahat. And then, click on the paragraph and then change mo lang siya paragraph. Paragraph. And then, change mo lang siya into heading 1. Ayan, pwede mong palakihin. Pwede mong paliitin. Alright, so dun lang tayo sa heading 2. Okay, so para mas okay siya tignan lang. Ayan, and then, oh, let me go ahead and just... Uh, gagawin natin siya sigurong middle. So, I'm going to click on style. And then, it change ko siya into center. Ayan. Okay, and then, going back to content. Guys, pwede mong i-change yung um, ito, eh, color na ito, ha? But, you need to do it inside here, dito sa default color na yan. Alright, so, ito na yung magiging itsura niya. So, pag klinik-click mo to, pag wala ka na sa mismong widget, pag klinik mo to, magpapakita yung mismong itsura niya. Uh, pinahiyan niya ako, hindi na nagpakita. I-preview mo na lang. <laughs> okay, next is, mag a ako ng text. Going back to my review page. I-copy ko lang to. Ayan. Copy ko lang to. And then, go back here. And, uh, I add some spaces. Just click on enter. Magkakaroon na siya ng space. And then, paste. Ayan. Okay, so, pwede mo siyang i-change na naman yung format niya. As mentioned a while ago, Yung mismong format niya, pwede mong i-change, pwede mong i-italic, pwede mong i-underline, ganyan. So, let's just do it as uh, simple as it is. Ayan lang siya. So, okay. Next is, alright. So, after nyan, let's just review. Let's click on preview. Kung ano magiging itsura niya. And here we go. Ayan na siya. So, medyo okay na yung itsura niya. Bakit ganito yung kulay niya? Um, I think this is the default um, color, but we can change that. Alright, so going back here, let's go to the style. I-change agad natin yung color. And then, let's go to text color. And then, let's do it as black lang. Black lang siya. If you would like to do it white, that's okay. Ayan, ganyan. So, um, question. Coach, paano pag gusto kong paghiwalayin yung color? Paano pag gusto ko yung title, ano, yung title mismo is black. Tapos gusto ko yung, ano, yung mismong um, content niya is blue. Guys, you can do that. Uh, paghiwalayin mo lang din yung widgets mo. So, for example, I I already add this, yung snippet niya. And then, mag add ako ng another widget. Tapos, i-hover ko yung mouse ko dito. Tapos, i-drag ko lang papunta dun sa bottom ng page. So, pag hinover mo yung mouse mo dito, magkakaroon ng blue line. Ibig sabihin, dun mo siya ipupuesto. So, ganyan siya. Ayan. So, pwede ka na mag-add ng another page. So, for example, ito yung eh, ikakapi ko to. Tatanggalin ko si, tatanggalin ko siya dito sa ating uh, title page. And then, I'm going to add it at the bottom. Tapos, gawin natin siya dito. Ayan. And then, um, go to style. And then, make it to the center. And then, I'll be changing the color into, um, siguro gawin natin siyang gray lang. Ayan siya. Para hindi siya masyadong na-emphasize lang. Parang read, readable siya, pero hindi masyadong, ano, hindi masyadong makulay. Alright, so, once I go there, okay, change the color, okay, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Preview the changes, and here we go. Alright, so loading right now. There you go. So, ganyan mo siya iihihiwalay. Matrabaho siya, guys, but it's worth it kasi mas, mas, di ba, organized or mas maganda siya tingnan. Alright? So, ganyan siya. Okay, next is we add some image here. As you can see on the previous screen, in-add ko si Harmony Granger. Ayan. 
maghahover ako, go back to the widgets on the top left, uh, top right corner of the screen, makikita mo yung 369 na dots or 9 na square dyan. If you click on this, magpapakita lahat ng widgets, okay? Then look for images, alright? So on the left side of the screen, click on image and then drag it over to your column. Ayan. Ayan. So, yan na siya, guys. And then, now that you can see the image, may sarili siyang, of course, content niya. Alright? Where you can choose an image. Ayan. So, click mo lang si choose image. And then, let's choose this, si uh, madam with sunglasses. Alright? Then, insert media. Ayan. Pwede mo naman gawin yan. And then, guys, you can always change the font style. You can do it like this. Ayan, pwede mo siyang gawing medium lang, pwede mo siyang gawing large, okay, pwede mo siyang gawing, um, eto, may mga mismo na siyang sizes ng iyong photo. Guys, nagbabago lahat ng image kapag ka in-upload mo siya in a particular ano, image size. Minsan, nakaka-apekto siya sa iyong store. Like what you can see on my store here, okay, nagbabago siya ng image. So, dapat, kapag ka mag-upload kayo ng image, pare-parehas dapat yung size, okay? Alright, and it's on your, um, it's yours pala. And guys, if you're wondering where I got this um, pictures, just go to pixabay.com. Hindi ka matatag dito as ano. Hindi ka matatag as copywriting kasi free talaga siya. Okay, si pixabay.com. Alright, water break. Ayan, dito ako nag-upload ng image, guys. Dito ko na lahat nakuha si Harry Potter. Ayan, dito ko nakuha lahat ng image ni Harry Potter. Pwede ka ding maghanap ng videos. Ayan, videos, illustrations, mga kung ano-ano na pwede mo magamit for your website. It's, this is really helpful, guys. Okay, just, uh, you know, copy the URL. Basta sa search mo lang, ano, pixabay.com. Now, going back to my picture here. Okay, I'm just going to do it as large. Ayan, large lang siya. And then next is, ito siya, write a review. So, it looks like a button. Pag clinic ko to, okay, mapupunta siya dito dapat sa baba. Since nasa isang page siya, ayaw niya mag-hover. Now, I'm going to um, change as well the style. Lagyan natin siya ng style. Um, kung may kita nyo dito, pwede nyo i-change yung width. Okay, pwede nyo din i-max yung, ayan, pwede nyo i-edit. Okay. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. Now, pag sinabi na namang normal and hover, so, pwede na naman kayong mag-hover. Okay? And then, pag hinover ko, magkakaroon ng animation. Let's do it as shrink. Okay? Once we click on this, or hover mo yung mouse mo, magkakaroon siya ng animation. Ayan. So, see that, guys? So, meron siya sa bandang content ng image. Okay? This is really useful, guys. Uh, as you can see, some websites does this. Okay? It means that they are using Elementor. Okay, you can click as well on solid or add some border. You can double it up. You can uh, dot it, it. So, let's just do it as double. Ayan. Para medyo maganda-ganda yung itsura ng ating image. Okay? Advanced, guys. You can add another animation right here. Okay? Pero masyado na siyang, ano na siya, redundant na siya. Ayoko na siyang lagyan. So, click on X mark if you don't want it. Click on default. Okay? Right, background guys, so meron ka na namang pwedeng i-background dito, but it will not show up kasi yung mismong background niya, yung mismong page mo na. Then border, positioning, um, I'm not do, uh, gonna do anything here. Now, next is yung mismong column, how about coach, I would like to add some uh, settings or colors on the column itself. Yung mismong column na to, yung square na to. Yes, you can do that. All you need to do is hover your mouse at the middle of the screen and then click on the three, uh, the six dots. Okay, and on the left side of the screen, may kita nyo na meron siyang iba't ibang setting na naman. This is for the layout, style, and advance. Okay, so this is for the whole column. Now, once you click on the layout, may kita mo dito na you can do it as full width. Okay, or you can do it as box tongue. So, if you going, are going to use box, okay, click on the columns gap. Pwede mo siyang inarrow lang. Ayan siya, yung magiging itsura niya. Alright, so let's just do it at default. And then line height, you can actually change it into fit to screen. Ayan, pag sinabing fit to screen, pag uh, in-open ko yung website, yan yung makikita ko agad. 
you can actually do it as minimum height. Ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang i-edit na naman. Drag mo siya pa ganyan, drag mo siya pa left, pa right. Ayan. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya, okay? So, i-default lang natin siya. Vertical line, ayan, pwede mo siyang i-top, pwede mo siyang i-bottom. Ayan. So, dun lang tayo sa middle lang tayo. Pero parang maganda siya pag bottom, ano? Hindi, maganda pag middle lang. Ayan, middle. And then, overflow, you can uh, hide this. Okay, you can just actually default. Set it as a default. <laughs> structure, guys, pwede mo siyang i-change. Pag sinabing structure, pwede mong i-change sa pag ganyan. Palakihin mismo yung picture. Leave it like this. <laughs> Or pwede mo siyang ganyan, okay? Actually, you can always drag it. Pag hinover mo yung mouse mo at the middle of the screen, pag nakita mo yung mismong dotted line na to, ibig sabihin pwede mo siyang i-drag pa left or pa right. So, that's how beautiful Elementor is. Kung makikita nyo, pwede nyo siyang galawin sa kahit anong parte ng kanyang column. So, parang ano na yun, cannot incorrectly, parang ano, M eh. Alright, so going back right here sa widgets, mag a na tayo ngayon ng ating button page, okay? So, going back on the widgets, mag ako ngayon ng button. Button, ayan. And here we go. All you need to do is drag this, and then hover it on the center of the screen, and then pag nag-highlight na siya ng blue, it means that you can paste. There you go. Asa na siya? Nawala. Di ata na paste. Wala, di ba? Alright, let me do it one more time. Parang ayaw niya. Ayun. So, there you go. So, meron na siyang button. Alright, so now you can see again here on the left side of the screen, when you once you drag a widget, meron na naman siyang option for you to have it um, change into the style of it okay now you can do it as info ayan you can do it as success warning or danger so i would suggest do it as a default kasi red ang ating ang ating color of the day for harry potter lang okay and then uh, we can do it align it at the text here we can change the text into uh, write as a review. Ano ba yung nakalagay dito? Sorry. <coughs> write a review. Okay. Write a review. Write a review. Ayan. Sorry, ang ingay ko mag-type. Yan ang talaga. Alright. And then, you can link this to a page where you would like it to be linked. Okay. I can show you how later on. And then, you can change it into the alignment of, you can do it a center, um, right side, or left side of the screen. So, syempre, dun tayo sa center. Um, gusto natin maging center tayo of attraction minsan, di ba? Ganyan kay. <laughs> Joke lang. Alright, and then you can change it into medium. Alright, you can also do it as large. And then, doon lang tayo sa medium lang. Ayan, okay na yan. Write a review. And then, let's go to the style. Ayoko yung mismong, ano, yung typography niya. Then, typography. Uh, let's just change it into, um, gawin na natin siguro siyang Times New Roman. Ay, ayoko, ayoko pala. Gawin natin siyang Arial. Ayan. So, mas okay siya. Simple lang. The size, ayan. Pwede mong i-change yung size ng mismong, ano, ng mismong uh, font size niya or yung font niya. Uh, gawin lang natin yung 17. Weight is, uh, you can just do it as 900 or 200 lang. Ayan. Transform into uppercase. Uh, parang hindi maganda, ba? Parang hindi na siya readable. Uh, Doon lang tayo sa default. And then, style, you can do it normal or italic. So, dun lang tayo sa normal then. Okay, let me just review some, ano, kasi natabunan ko na ata. Alright, so link po, nalilito po kasi ako doon. Ma'am, sample pag uh, nag-link, nalilito po kasi ako doon. I'll show you how later on. Let me give you rating, ma'am, 5 star. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, Ilocano po ako. Elementor Pro po ba ang gamit nyo? Um, no po. This is a free Elementor lang po. Kasi wala tayong pambayad. <laughs> well, if... Yeah, wala tayong pambayad. Doon lang tayo sa ano, sa makakapag-build tayo ng website at the same time, maganda yung result. Ganun lang. So, find a way. Ganun. Para mas mapamura ka, nakakita ka pa ng malaki, di ba? 
All right, so next is, okay, next is we go here on the line spacing. So, okay na yan. Okay na tayo sa line spacing. Simple lang siya, okay? Next is the advance. Um, pag siguro gusto kong lagyan siya ng motion effects, yung animation niya, uh, let's do it fade in. Fade in, fade down, uh, fade in na lang. And then, uh, gawin nating slow. Ayan, slow. Slow na pala yun sa lagay nun. Parang ang bilis. Border, um, background niya. Huwag na nating lagyan. Guys, pala yung background nito, ni, ni Button. Ay, yung background, may dalawa kang option. The classic and then the gradient. The gradient, it's beautiful actually. Um, pwede kang maghalo ng mga ganyan. Maghalo ng both colors. Ganto yung magiging itsura niya. Yan si gradient. Diba? Ang ganda ng result. Pag mahilig kang mag, ano, mag paint paint or mag um, experiment ng mga kulay, okay, pwede mong gamitin si gradient. But I don't want to. So, didelete ko siya. Alright. Next is, let's see here. I-link natin siya mamaya kapag ka nakapag-create na tayo ng page where we can link it. Okay? Alright. So, okay na ako dyan sa review. Um, let's see here. Okay na yan. Now, next is the button. Yung text color, pwede natin siyang baguhin into um, black or yellow. Gawin natin siyang yellow kasi gusto ko yung Gryffindor style lang. Ayan, mas okay siya. And then, yung background color, you can actually black. Ayan, black or red. Uh, Doon tayo sa red. Red. Ayan. Ayan, okay na yan. See, red dots. Okay, okay. Ayan. Red. And then, what else? Yung button mismo niya. Parang medyo, ano, dark yung yellow niya. Pa, change lang natin into much lighter lang na yellow. And then, hover. Pag sinabing hover, guys, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Kapag hinover mo yung mouse dito, magkakaroon ng kulay. Um, sige. Pag hinover natin, gawin natin siyang text color is black. And then, gawin natin green. And then, yung background niya is um, black. Ayan. So, let's see. Okay. So, kumbaga, Gryffindor into Slytherin. Okay. Very good. Ganda, no? Siyempre. Tapos, anime, animation hover. So, pwede natin gawing sync. Ayan. Ayan. Pero, hindi mo malaman kung klinik-click mo na ba siya o hindi. Pero, that's okay. Then, border type. That's okay. Not to add anything. Okay na ako dito sa ganito. Back shadow, guys. Pwede mong lagyan ng shadow yung box mo. Kung makikita mo dito, or yan, magiging green yung gigilid niya. Alright? Then, ayan, pwede mong palawakin. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo, yan siya. Alright, so I'm going to delete this. And then, pwede mong gawing vert vertical actually. Ayan. So, dun lang tayo sa simple lang. Ayoko na mag-add ng kung ano-anong shadow dyan. Alright, next is... Our great customer service. Ito na siya. Si, si mismong approve na na ating page or mismong mga sinasabi na ni customer. Alright, so what is the short code for that? So let's go back to our review page or which review plugin, okay? Si plugin review page. Alright, while, while it's loading um, water break. And then look for... A page where it says, um, eto, see, show all. Review show number all. Okay, so let's copy this. It means that this will show every approved global review page. So, lahat, lahat ng approved. So, dito tayo, mas madaming approved or mas madaming reviews, mas okay. Kahit negative pa yan, that's okay. Alright? So, syempre, wag yun naman gawing negative. Doon lang tayo sa positive naman. <laughs> Pag ayaw niyong maipakita, that's okay. You cannot approve it. May way ka para i-approve or disapprove. Ganon. Alright, going back right here. So, tignan natin kung anong magiging itsura niya na pala. Eto na siya. Ayan na siya, guys. Eto na yung naging itsura ng ating page. Diba? Ayan, o. Oh. Ganda. Ay, hindi pa pala nagpakita yon. Let's preview the changes. And then, let's see here. Okay, kung may pagkakaiba, nag-shake nag head na siya. Alright, and then, eto siya. Okay, very good. Nag-take effect yung changes natin. 
But you always need to click on uh, update ha, or publish. Uh, ayoko muna siya yung publish. Okay. Let's do it later. Alright. And then next is um, the the review page which is yung eto si show all. Si show all review page. Asa na yun? Eto. Si show all. So let's copy this. Copy. And then go back to our Elementor page. Then let's add right now another text. Text widget. So, let's drag this text editor and then hover it and drag it at the middle of the screen. Alright, very good. Once you drag it at the middle of the screen, ito na naman, magpapakita na naman si content style and advance. Alright, so let's just um, delete all of this text and then paste yung ating mismong uh, rich reviews number all. Okay, uh, let's just change the style. Ayan, eh, gawin natin siyang heading 3. Ayan, heading 3. Para medyo, ano, medyo malaki yung screen niya. Okay, and then, let's see. Um, maglagay tayo ng title siguro. Ay, hindi na, hindi na tayo maglalagay ng title. Uh, testimonials. Uh, para siguro makita rin nila. So, if you would like to add title, that's okay. You can always add here. Uh, testi uh, customer's testimonial. Yeah. Customer testimonial. Ayan, you can edit the, the heading here. You can do it heading 1. And then, uh, do it at the center of the page. So, punta ka ulit sa style. Ayan. And then, let's change the color. Let's do it black. Ayan, black. Okay, okay na tayo dyan. And then, let's see what it looks like. And let's click on preview changes. And here we go. Wala pa siya. Kasi nga, hindi, wala pa tayong reviews. Okay, next is, uh, I'm going to show you later on what it looks like once we already have a review or yung form mismo. Next is, um, once we did this, if you would like to add some style to it, that's okay. Uh, let's just change the typography siguro. Let's do it. Um, ayan. Parang hindi maganda. So, gawin natin siyang... Si Madam, eto. Kakapi ko na lang yung style na ito. Guys, you can always copy the style. All you need to do is right-click on your mouse. Um, hover your mouse on the page that you would like to copy the style. And then, drag, um, scroll down and then right-click again on the page or on the column that you would like to paste the style. And then, click on paste the style. There you go. So, parehas na siya. So, maybe I would like to palitan ko si title na lang. Parang gusto kong i-change si title. Hindi ko na siya isasama dito. Pwede mong gawin yun, guys, ha? So, delete mo lang siya. Hayaan mo na lang si Rich Reviews dito. Ayan. And then, I'm going to add a widget, another widget. So, click on the six dots, or sorry, nine dots. And then, drag like a heading. Punta tayo dito. Ayan. There you go. So, may heading na tayo. Um, I-hover ko lang siya pataas kasi nagkaroon siya ng... Ayon si spacing dito. Nawala si, ayan, si Rich Reviews. And then, I'm going to paste yung style ko dito. Ayan, si Customer Testimonial. I'll right-click on this and then copy on the style. Paste the style here. Ayan, mas malaki na siya. Okay, okay na ako dyan. Then, guys, I'm going back to the uh, widgets and then I'm going to add like a spacer kasi masyado siyang dikit. Dikit siya masyado sa column na to. So, para maglagay ka ng space or makahinga naman yung page mo mismo dito. Alright? You can add a spacer. So, just search a spacer. Ayan. Drag it over here. And then, hover mo lang yung mouse mo at the uh, line dotted or highlighted page. And then, uh, pwede mo siyang baguhin na ganyan na space. Mas malaki or maliit lang. So, ganyan lang siguro. Okay na ako dyan. Alright, so let's see. Okay na yung customer font. And I'm going to edit the style of the text editor here. Change the style into, um, eto lang siya. So, okay na siguro ako dito sa kulay na gray. Gray siya lang siya. Ayan. And then, let's see now. Next is, um, once I add here, ang next ay yung tell me how you feel. So, yung mismong rich form na siya, Okay. Going back to my Elementor, okay, I'm going to drag a text editor again at the center, alright, and then I'm going to copy a rich review um, plugin here, 
And then, ikakapi ko si which review forms. Si review forms naman siya. So, click on control C, of, of course. Punta ka ulit sa review form mo. And then, go back to your Elementor page. And then, paste it here. Sa ating text editor. Now, I would like it to be on the middle of the screen. Okay. Middle of the screen. There you go. And siguro yung kulay niya, let's do it black. Okay. And then, go back to the content. Let's change the uh, highlight mo muna siya. Um, paragraph niya siguro, let's do it as big as, as this. Okay. And then, going back to the style, I would like to change the typography. Change it into... Uh, gawin natin siyang ito. Si Aklonica. Ayan, si Aklonica. Ayan. So, okay na siya. So, gusto ko yung itsura niya. And then, let's see here. Yung weight niya siguro, let's do it. 900. Ay, hindi. Ayaw na niya mabago. So, masyado na kasi siyang bold. So, hindi mo na siya pwedeng i-change. Um, let's change it into default only. Okay na ako dito sa default. Um, the style is normal, okay? Line height, siguro palakin natin siya ng konti. Ayaw niyang mag, ano, hold on. Uh, line height, the style, typography, and then line height. Ayaw niyang mag-change kasi short code lang siya. Okay, now next is, um, if you would like to add animations, just always click on advance and then go to animation. Let's do faded. Alright, now let's see how it works or ano yung itsura niya. Let's click on preview changes. Alright, let's see now. Here we go. Moment of truth. Alright, scroll down a little bit. And here we go. There. So, meron na siyang name, uh, email, review title, rating. So, feeling ko medyo malaki si content. So, let's go back to the content. I-edit mo ulit siya kapag, kapag ka may mali. Alright, so let's change it into heading 3 lang para hindi masyadong, hindi masyadong uh, malaki. And i-change ko yung style siguro. Let me change the typography. And gawin ko lang siyang, uh, let's see here. Gawin ko lang, eto, eto, eto si, ayan, si Rich Reviews Alert Aside. Alert Aside, yan. Okay na siya sa para sa akin. Yung size siguro ng text. Um, okay na yan. Okay na ako dyan. Alright. And then, I'm going to add again another title. So, go back to widgets. Oh, sorry. Go back to reach forms. Hold on. Okay. Go back to reach forms. Then, go back to content. Maglagay tayo ngayon. Um, ihiwalay ko na lang si title. So, hindi na ako mag-add dito. You can actually add some text here, guys. Okay. Pwede kang mag-add mismo ng title niya, which is me. Tell me something about, uh, tell me how you feel. Ganon. So, pwede kang mag-add dito. Ayan. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. You can actually change the heading into heading 1. But the disadvantage of this one, using the same widget, is you cannot change the color of the particular text. So, much better na lang siguro if you... If you change or you separated the title and the text itself. Pero ako, okay lang sa akin to. Okay? Ayan. So, spacing niya. Dinilit ko lang yung space dito. Then, let's click on preview changes. Alright. Let's see now. Alright. So, let me check. Here we go. So, ganyan na yung magiging itsura niya. And it's much better talaga na meron tayong sariling title page. Kasi, tigyan siya. Medyo off yung... Medyo off yung kanyang itsura, no? Pag sa title. So, going back here on the elements, let's delete this. Tell me how you feel. Okay, delete muna natin. And then, let's go back to the widgets. And then, uh, hover your mouse here on the title and then paste it here. Okay, now let me just paste. And then, I'm going to copy again this uh, style and then paste the style one more time. There you go. Tell me how you feel. Okay, okay na ako dito. Now, let's publish the page. Okay? Publish na natin yung page. Have a look. Okay? And then, let's test. Okay? Let's test the form. So, eto na yung magiging itsura niya, guys. Alright? Tell me how you feel. Wala pa yung customer testimonials kasi nga, wala, pa yung, wala pang nagre-review. So, let's just test the page. 
charina and then test at gmail.com and then review title awesome awesome parang yung ano parang yung katim ko yun yung yun yung closing spill niya say awesome ganun siya wala lang channel ko lang <laughs> okay the rating you can add one star two to star three star four star and five star so let's do it five star and then you you guys are amazing are amazing it's so much easier good customer service and very accommodating dating uh, ayan, wrong spelling pa ako. accommodating uh, people people talaga <laughs> Alright, so okay na yan. Then, let's submit. Okay. So, guys, magtataka kayo bakit kulay pink. Yan yung default na ano, font ng hello theme. Okay. So, kung ano yung theme mo, mag-a-add lang siya or mag -re reflect lang siya to the default font size and font style of your uh, theme. Okay. Now, let's see. Once na meron ka nang nasubmit, eto na yung magiging itsura niya. Charina, you review, your review has been recorded and submitted for approval. Thanks. Papano mo, coach, papano mo change yung mismong sinasabi dito? That's okay. All you need to do is go back here sa review. Sa review by star, okay? And I'm going to show you how. Now, let's just review, uh, refresh the page, okay? Kay review, rich reviews, okay? And now, you can see here, sa kay rich reviews, meron ka ng pending reviews. There you go. So, now that you he see here the pending reviews, okay, ganito na yung magiging itsura niya. Alright, so, ayan na siya. So, meron na siyang text dito. Meron yung rating niya, which is 5. Yeah, the email that uh, he used or she used. Alright, and the date kung kailan. So, pwede mong i-edit. Okay, si edit siya. Edit mo kung mayroong grammar man dyan or meron kang incorrect spelling. You can always click on edit, okay? And then, approve reviews. So, we're going to click on this one on the little box. And then, click on bulk option and then approve. Then, click on apply. Alright. So, pwede i-edit pala talaga, mama. Yes, pwede mong i-edit. So, alam mo na. <laughs> yung mga, ano, yung mga tipong puro 5-star lang siya. Bakit kayo puro 5-star to? Masyado naman siyang perfect. Magtataka ka talaga. Kasi nga, minsan... Niloloko niya lang. <laughs> niloloko lang tayo. Ganyan naman na hindi natin alam kapag ka niloloko na tayo. Okay lang yan guys. Malalaman mo din naman. Alright, so I approve on the changes. Okay, pagka clinic mo to, meron ka ng no items found. You can click on your dashboard. Okay, going back here. And then, may kita mo dito. Sorry, sorry. Click on the pending reviews and then approve reviews. So, eto na siya. Si approve reviews. Ayan. Approve reviews. Ayan. Alright. Here we go. So, eto na yung in-approve ko. May ID pa siya. Page ID pa, di ba? And then, uh, there's a category here. So, may kita mo dito kung ano yung mga iba't ibang category. Okay? Then, options. Let's see here the options. Just so you know. Okay. May kita mo dito yung admin email. Send notification to. So, pwede mong actually ipasend to sa email mo. So, pwede mong i-add yung email mo dito para... Every time na may nag-review, di ba, magsisend ng notification sa'yo. Alright, so that's how it is. Let's add my email. Okay, para may, para kunwari may magno-notify, ganun. Pag wala ka nang nare-receive na notification minsan, pwede mo namang gamitin to para maramdaman mo lang na minsan may nagno-notify din sa'yo. That's okay, guys. Okay, then form. Okay, yung form, actually, you can change the form options here. So, pwede mong i-change yung name label. Okay, pwede mong i-change yung email. Alright, pwede mong i-change yung review title. Okay, so dito siya. Ayan, title required, rating label, review content. So, uh, uh, change siguro natin to si review content. Ay, hindi, okay na ako dyan. Then, button is submit button. Okay. Then display, of course, you can actually uh, change the display. Let's see here. Alright, so on the display, you can uh, change the color. Pag sinabing FFA, FOOO, yung mga yan, eto yan, yung parang nandito sa style lang yan. 
Alright, so ito yung magiging itsura niya. Ayan. So, kuha ka lang dito. Kumbaga, yan yung mga different color mo. Alright, so ganyan lang naman siya. Alright, so yun siya. Uh, maybe sa so what did you miss page po? Saan ko po pwede ma-view ulit ang vid na to, ma'am? Uh, yeah, what did I miss? Okay. Alright, so now, yes, you can always use your own review. Pwede mong i-review yung sarili mo. Kapag ka minsan medyo na, na ano ka na, hindi mo na alam kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin sa buhay mo. Pwede mong i-review mismo yung sarili mo. <laughs> ano yun? Wala lang. Gusto ko lang. Alright, so you can copy and paste the color here. Alright, and then show date. Pwede mong i-show date. Credit permission, then older first. So, doon tayo sa older first. Then user, guys. Okay, so this is the user. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ka si user, pwede mong i-autofill yung name. And then, uh, user avatars. Use user avatars, ibig sabihin, pwede silang mag-choose kung ano yung mga gusto nilang mga user. Markup, okay, let's click on markup. So, on the markup, dito mo na pwedeng specify kung ano yung when no categories specify service and full reviews. So, I don't think that we can change the yung mismong ano, yung mismong ito, yung sinesend ni sinesend niya after the customer has reviewed. And there you go, naglumabas na siya dito. So, awesome, you guys are amazing. Ayan. So, I would suggest na i-change yung title nito. May naging ganto na siya oh. Alright, pare-pares na siya ng text. Parang medyo off siya. Compare mo dito sa isang review page natin na mayroong sarili. So, I would suggest na i-change ko si reviews and then i-normal ko na lang siguro siya. So, the way it is na lang. Normal na lang siguro, guys. Yan, paragraph. Let's see the changes, ha. Okay, let me click on update and then preview changes. And here we go. So guys, after ma-approve, ito na yung magiging itsura niya. Bawat approve, may kita mo na yung itsura dito. Hala, ang pangit. Ano nangyari? Kasi lumaki siya dito. Ah, kasi yung fan style niya nga pala. Yung style niya, baguhin na lang natin into normal. Text color, that's okay. Yung ano, baguhin yung size niya, delete natin. Yung fan style niya is... Gawin na lang natin Times New Roman, okay? And then, let's see. Uppercase, um, let's just do it as a default. Normal, style, normal, okay. Let's click on update one more time. Let's see how it works or what does it look like. Okay, here we go. There you go. Mas okay siya, okay? Mas okay kapag kasimple lang. Pag mismong yung default na option lang ng iyong reach review page. So, if you would like to change the display form, you can always change here, okay? You can always change here. So, pwede mong i-include title post. Uh, pwede mong i-include si rating mismo, average. So, uh, click mo lang yan si rating star. Alright, so, except length, okay na ako sa 150. And then, save changes. Alright, so, yan lang naman. Dapat guys, multiple pages yung in-open mo sa WordPress, Okay. So, I have here the Rich Reviews page, okay, and I have here the Elementor, and I have the preview changes. So, let's see now. Um, let's click on, let's click on Preview Updates. And here we go. Ayan, so ganyan na yung magiging itsura niya. Mas okay siya, di ba? Mas maganda siya, tignan. Alright, so ganyan lang naman siya. Every time na merong mag-re-review uh, sa inyo or every time na merong magsasend ng reviews, okay, magsasend yun ng notification, okay? So next is, uh, let's add now, after we created this page, of course, what we need to do is to create another page na makakapag-go through dito. So ibig sabihin, link siya doon sa homepage mo. Okay, so let's go back here. We are then now with our creating the testimonial page. Okay, tapos na to. Congratulations. Alam mo na kung paano mag-add ng testimonial page. Now, question. Paano ko po ma-hide yung review page dito sa gilid? That's okay. All you need to do is to hover your mouse here on the settings below, below left corner of the screen or the bottom left corner of the screen and then hide title. Click on hide title. Ayun na siya. Then, click on update, of course. 
All right, next is let's add like a testimonial page dito mismo sa ating ayan sa testimonial page dito. So how did we do it? As you can see guys, meron tayo yung mismong read more reviews. Pag klinik ko yung button, okay, if I click on read more reviews, mag-go-go through siya sa testimonial page. Okay, so eto na yung sinasabi ni sir about linking. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can link one page to another or one button to another. So as you can see here, if I click on that button, nagkaroon siya ng mismong page niya. Okay, how did we do that? So let me just go ahead and just delete or remove this. Okay. Going back to my Elementor page. So, hindi na natin to kailangan kasi tapos na natin tong mismong page na to. Now, I'm going back to my dashboard. Click on the dashboard setting here. Then, AX mark ko na to para wala na tayo masyadong tab. Ayan. And then, I'm going to go to pages where my homepage is. Kasi dito, nasa homepage ko siya, guys. Alright? Nasa homepage ko yung mismong testimonial or link page na yon okay nandito siya sa bottom ayan so yan si testimonials so how did we do it so i we click on the pages all right going back to our pages and then go to your home page all right okay so let's just wait for it medyo naghang siya guys all right all right so makikita mo na dito si pages uh, si home all right here si home I-click mo lang si Edit with Elementor. Alright? Okay. So, let's click on Edit Elementor. Ma'am, lahat po ba ng back-end functions ng website galing na kay WordPress? Um, when you say back-end ng website, you mean yung nakikita ko sa dashboard? Yes, it is with WordPress. Bali, ano siya, sabi ko nga sa'yo, it's uh, imagine your phone, okay, imagine your phone, same as this, pwede mo siyang mag-install, pwede ka mag-install. Alright, so I already uh, load my homepage right here, and ito yung makikita mong itsura ng homepage. Now, meron na tayong na-create dito ng mga products, our featured products, and I already um, done creating this, all you need to do is to watch the video, sa mga previous video natin or tutorial natin before, okay guys? Alright, so now let's add the testimonial page. Where can I add it? Siguro below siya dito sa contact us page dito. Dito sa bottom, no? Okay siya dito. And then let's add like, um, mm, let's add some plug, uh, yung ano, Envato elements. Para hindi na tayo kung ano-ano pa yung gawin natin. And then let's click on blocks. Let's find uh, something na fit sa ating product page. Okay, so, punta ka dito sa block page, okay? Then, look for testimonial grades. Dito na siya. So, pw pwede kang kumuha dito. Ayan, what people can say. Testimonials, testimonial grades. Ayan, see testimonial grades now. Action now, ganyan. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. You can actually do this. Alright, or create your own review. So, on this one, siguro ang gagawin ko is... Let me see. Mag-create na lang ako on my own. Kasi medyo short code kasi yung gamit natin. I don't think that it is compatible here kapag ka gumagamit ka ng short code. Kasi yung mga to, guys, um, the reason why I cannot use it is because eto manually nilang ina-add sa mismong page nila. Whereas, yung ginagamit natin is automatically na kapag ka may in-approve ka, makikita na agad. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add like... Um, a column here and then select one structure all right and then inside this structure maybe i can add like a heading ayan mag add tayo ng heading just drag it here and then ipapangalanan ko siyang testimonials testimonials Ayan. So, uh, let me go ahead and copy again some font style para hindi na ako kung ano-ano yung mga gagamitin ko. Okay, let me copy the font style of this, drag it at the bottom, and then here, paste the style. Ayan. Okay, testimonials. Now, inside this, pwede din ako mag-add ng text editor. 
How? All you need to do is to drag it here. And then, drag mo lang dito sa baba. Ayan, nasa iisang column sila as you notice guys. And then, next is, ikakapi natin yung same na short code na ginamit natin kay customer na review page. So, where it is, going back to the rich review page, okay, on those instructions, look for the show all na short code. Yun yung ginamit natin kanina. Show all, ito, is show all. Copy this and go back to your Elementor page and then paste it here. Ayan. So, i-edit ko lang yung style niya, guys. Um, I'll make it on the center of the screen. Change the style into, uh, let me see here. Change ko lang siya into Times New Roman, okay? Typography or yung text color, let's do it black, okay? Or maybe red. Hindi, okay na ako sa gray pala. Ayan, gray. And then, typography, let's do it like, hindi, okay na ako dun. And then, yung size, pwede siguro natin palakihin. Ayan, okay na yan. And then, uh, columns gap, that's okay. We don't have to change that. Motion effects, let, let's add like, slide in, uh, slide left. Ayan, okay na siya. So, meron na siyang style and everything. So, now, ano yung magiging itsura ng background natin? I'm going to edit the background. Um, I'm going to add like the whole background image. So, pupunta ka lang dito kay middle of the screen, yung sa anim na dots, okay? And then, go to style. O, yan na siya. Nagpapakita na siya, di ba? Awesome. Mga ganyan. Go to style. And then, let's look for um, background overlay. Guys, ito yung background overlay, ha? Kapag ka nag-add ako ng picture dito, Uh, hold on. mag add ako ng kulay black na overlay, ibig sabihin, papatong siya dun sa picture na nilagay mo. So, for example, I added like a background picture. Okay? mag add ako ng background picture. Alright? On the left side of the screen. Add a background picture here. Let's choose an image. Uh, say, for example, ang i-add natin ay si pineapple. Hindi. Ayoko si pineapple. Eto, si... Ayan, si attachment Hinbong. Hinbong yung. Ayan, para naman akong ano nun. Hindi ko alam kung Chinese yan or Korean. Then, insert media. Alright, ayan na siya. And then, yung mismong background overlay ko, let's change. Um, gawin natin mas dark pa. So, all you need to do is to add some color. Ayan, mas naging darken pa siya, di ba? You see the different guy, difference, guys? Pwede mo siyang gawing green. Pwede mo siyang gawing black. Pwede mo siyang gawing gray. So, it's up to you. So, what I'm going to do is to choose black. Ayan. And then, as you can see, medyo natakpan yung, yung ating um, image here. So, gagawin, i-change ko yung font, font uh, color niyan mamaya. Okay? Alright. Next is, so, okay na ako dyan. Palakihin natin to kasi masyadong maliit yung column niya. So, go back to your layout. Layout, guys. Okay? And then, choose the height and then choose minimum height. Okay, so sa minimum height, guys, as mentioned a while ago, pwede mo siya mas palakihin pa. Ayan, pwede mo siya paliitin pa. So, punta tayo ngayon dyan. So, medyo minimum height lang siya into 529. Custom position, you can change it into top or you can change it on middle. So, dun lang tayo sa middle. And then, vertical line, guys, you can uh, do it top, middle, or default lang. So, now, next is style. So, si style, gawin natin siya. So, you can change the position of the image. You can actually do it center-center. Ayan. Or you can change it into center-left. Ayan. Parang maganda si center-left, no? Um, or center-right. There you go. Then, mas okay sa akin si center-center. Or you can do it cover. Ayan, center, i-default lang natin siguro to. And then, uh, si attachment niya, hold on, uh, let's do it center left, center left. Mas okay si center left. Ayan. Alright, so, and then, si attachment, you can actually do a scroll. So, ito yung comparison niya, ha? Scroll, ibig sabihin, eh, mag scroll siya kasama ng, eh, ng page mo. And then, fixed, guys, ito siya. 
yung color ay yung ano yung background mo is naka-fix lang. Okay? You see the difference? Hindi gumagalaw yung photo mismo. So, pag in-scroll mo, magkukusa siyang ganyan. Parang fix na fix talaga siya. Ganda, di ba? Ayan, i-fix lang natin siya. Repeat, repeat, or repeat lang. So, doon tayo sa default. Background overlay. So, okay na ako dyan sa darken na yan. And then, okay na siguro to. Alright, and then, uh, what else? So, okay na ako dyan, guys. Uh, lagyan siguro natin ng motion effects, which is slide right. Okay na yan. And then, I'm going to change the font style here. Medyo papalakihin ko to. So, hover mo lang yung mouse mo dito and then click on the page itself. Let's do it. Siguro, gawin natin siyang red. Ay, ang sakit sa mata. White. White, okay. Okay na ako sa white. Med na medyo pink. Medyo yung size niya, palakihin natin ng konti. Alright. So, medyo okay siya sa akin. And then, move over here. Palitan naman natin to si uh, Rich Review Page. Gawin natin yung fan style niya. Siguro gawin natin white. Okay. So, mas okay siya sa akin. Let's see and click on preview changes. Or, yeah, preview changes for us to see what it looks like. So, basta guys, ang web design naman, it's up to you kung ano yung magiging itsura ng iyong page. Okay. Kung hindi ka komportable sa color na yun, you can always change it. Go back and change it pag nairita ka. Kasi trust your own instinct or yung own uh, design skill or artistry skills. Okay? <laughs> Kung ano-ano lang in-event. In eh. Alright, so move over here. Let's see what it looks like. And here we go. There. So, eto na siya. See? Welcome testimonials. You guys are amazing. Good customer service and accommodating. Diba? Very good. Now, let's add more buttons kasi wala pa siyang buttons dito. Mag-add tayo ngayon ng buttons para mag-link siya sa another page. How? All you need to do is go to the pages and then look for buttons here. And then, move over your mouse here. Okay? Ayan. Click mo lang siya dito and meron ka ng another page. Now, let me change the alignment here. Center lang natin siya. And then, change the text into uh, read more reviews. Read more reviews. Ayan. And then, link. Ito na yung sinasabi nating link. How? All we need to do is go to our review page. Kung nasan natin nag-click kanina. Yung page natin kanina. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Muntik na. Okay, how? All you need to do is go back to our dashboard settings. Okay, go back to your dashboard. Look for that particular page and then copy the permalink. Okay, let's go back here sa ating permalink page and then go to pages. Alright, go to pages. And then go to our review page. Hanapin mo lang dito sa review page. Click on edit. Okay, click on edit. Alright, so now on the uh, left side of the screen, oh sorry, top right corner of the screen, dito nyo may kita ngayon si permalink, okay? All you need to do is to copy this permalink, okay? Copy mo lang yan or just go on that particular page, ayan, click mo lang si copy dito, alright? Okay, nakapi ko na siya, then I'm going to go back to my Elementor page and then click on the button itself. And then, delete mo lang si hashtag, then paste. Okay? Alright, so, i-change ko lang siguro si typography. I'm going to do it on the style button. Typography, let's do it on times new Roman lang tayo. Okay, mas okay siya. Size siguro, medyo palakin lang natin siya ng konti. Ay, masyado malaki. Ayan. And then, si hover siguro. Ayan, gustong gusto ko si hover. So, let me just change the color here. Gawin kong text color is yellow. Okay, hold on. Ayan. And then, let me just change the hover here. Pag hinover ko, gagawin ko ulit black. Ay, hindi. Yeah, green, green, green. Sorry. And then, black. Okay, very good. Animation. Uh, do it shrink. Okay. Okay, okay na ako dyan, guys. And then, let's see. Update the changes. Oh, gusto ko siya lagyan pala ng animation. Hold on. Lagyan ko siya ng animation siguro pa. 
Hold on. Um, animation ko siguro pa slide slide right then or slide or slide up. Ayan, okay siya. All right. So let's see now the changes or what it looks like. Uh, this is the finished product of our um testimonial page. So let's go back right here. E e paikote. <laughs> Refresh page mo lang siya. All right, so let's see here now. There you go. I sorry, sorry. Homepage, homepage. Okay, going back to homepage. All right, so let's see now. Scroll down. Okay, scroll down until we go back here to our testimonial page. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And then click on read more reviews. All right, let's click on this one and voila. Marunong ka nang mag-link, marunong ka nang mag-add ng testimonial page. And let's try to add another more testimonial page. Uh, sabihin natin si Errol. Errol, um, email errol at gmail.com. Review title is a very, um, I love you guys. Sana all. Okay, rating is 5. Review content, uh, very... Hindi. Ano sasabihin natin? Gayain na lang natin yung nandito. Tinamad na eh. Hindi naman. Ayan. Read more. Ayan. Kakapi ko na lang to. Ayan. So, keep uh, click on submit. Alright. So, once the, uh, the customer fill up the information, meron ka ng submit form, meron ka pang subscribe now. Okay, ito hindi na siya mabago talaga. And then, go back to our reach review page. Okay, so reach review. And then, uh, click mo lang ulit siya. And then, approve. Once na, sabi ko sa inyo, once na in-approve nyo guys, automatic siyang mag maglalagay or magpapakita doon, di ba? Okay, so click mo lang si little box. And then, click on approve. Click on apply. All right, so let's see now. Let's um, uh, let's just click on home page. All right. So dapat sa dalawa siya magpapakita. Doon sa mismong short code na inano natin, nilagay natin sa home page. All right. And also sa mismong there you go. Oh, di ba automatic na siya guys. And then mismo dito pa sa read more reviews. Dito pa siya sa Siguro dito, tatlo na lang ang ilalagay ko. So, you can change it actually pag tatlo lang yung gusto mong makita doon. Okay? So, let's change it. Gusto ko tatlo lang yung makikita ko doon sa homepage. Okay? Hindi ako contento doon sa ano. Kasi, homepage siya eh. Pag homepage, dapat nakamaximize uh, naka lang siya into 3 or 4. So, gawin natin. Gawin natin si 3 lang. Okay? 3 lang. Okay, let's go back to instructions. And it says right here that if you would like the first eight and the first three, gusto yung first three. Um, where are you? First three pages lang siya. First eight lang kasi to eh. Dapat yung first three lang. Wala atang first three. First six, okay. First, ayon, first three. Ito. Regardless of the category. Let's try this. Kung sinabi niyang category lang, kung category lang talaga. Let's try still. Okay, let's change this into review page. Okay, edit ko lang to guys. Edit ko lang si content. Para naman matry natin yung iba. Okay, so click on update. Let's see what's the difference. Pag hindi, then okay tayo sa tatlo lang. Okay? Okay, so loading right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, so very good. So it looks like na okay siya, first three. So regardless naman kasi sabi dito sa rich reviews, regardless of category. At least first three siya. And there you have it guys. Tapos na tayong mag-create ng ating testimonial page and mag-link ng testimonial page to another page. So guys, um, we are already uh, up or exceeded to our discussion, which is already, the time is 10.14. And I'll give you like until 10.20. Uh,
for me to, you know, for you guys to ask me some questions, okay? Kung may mga tanong kayo, um, it's, uh, you can ask me right now until 10.20. So, for those guys na medyo inaantok na or kakain pa, you can go ahead and just watch the tutorial. Um, I, I'll be uploading it right now, but it's up to our admin, which is yung si Sir William kung kailan niya pwedeng ma-upload, okay? Alright, let me just review this, guys. Um, meron noon sa web dev playground. I see, I see, they were. May ask anong gamit nyo laptop po or PC specs? Oh, yes po. Si, si Sir J, uh, uh, J. Van. Um, ang gamit ko ay si Dell. Ano nga ba yung, saan nga ba may kita yun? Nakalimutan ko na. Specs ng uh, mismong laptop. Um, hold on. Let me see here. Hindi ko kabisado yung mismong specs eh. Actually, guys, ano, um, 4 gig lang to. <laughs> Pinag-up, pina upgrade na nga ako eh. Pero kaya pa naman. Pagka madami na, kasi pag madami kang applications like Adobe, okay, just to give you some reviews, kasi may kinausap din ako about dito, which is yung katim ko na super galing sa mga computer. So, ang una mong iisipin, nag -e edit ka ba kung ano yung mga applications na ginagamit mo. For example, Gumagamit ka ba ng Adobe, mga Photoshop na very demanding yun sa mga spaces, okay? You need to have a 4 gig RAM and also 4 cores ng CPU. Ibig sabihin yung, ano na yung 4 cores ng CPU, basta yun, basta yung mga kaya mag-multitask, okay? Ibig sabihin yun yung mga kaya i-accommodate na ganto. For example, naka-open tong Adobe mo, naka-open yung WordPress mo, naka-open yung cPanel mo, kaya niyang basahin in all one laptop lang. Hindi yan kayang gawin ng PC ko, guys, kasi wala akong specs na ganun. But, it's much better for you if you really have some um, applications na nagde-demand ng very high specs talaga. You need to have uh, very high specs ng iyong uh, computer, okay? So, uh, yeah, importante talaga mabilis ang internet sa web development. And thank you for that. Need natin ng 8 gig RAM. It's the, not really needed. Sa akin kasi gumagana naman siya sa 4 gig RAM. I, I just do some websites. So, okay naman siya sa akin. If you really need like editing Adobe, mga ganon-ganon, yung mga quick pro applications, then I would suggest na go with 8 gig RAM. Yes, importante talaga siya. Kasi doon sa ano, doon sa computer namin sa office, ang ganda ng computer namin doon. Dalawa yung PC namin, dalawa yung PC namin, left and right, para nakakapag-multitask kami. So, ang dami naming kayang gawin. Alright, naingit nga ako, gusto ko mag-build ng sarili kong PC, but it's really expensive, guys. It's expensive. Eto pa nga lang computer ko, 30,000 na eh. 30,000 na ito, ha? Wala, hindi pa ganong okay yung specs niya. Hindi man sa okay, actually okay yung specs niya. It's not that high maintenance naman na ano, na mga na mga computer. So, yeah, thank you for that wonderful question. Na parang ano naman. Saan ko ba may kita yun, guys? Yung may kita mo yung uh, specs dito sa computer. Not really sure. System? Sa system ba? Yung pusa dito nakikipaglaro. Hello, money. Alright, so hindi ko alam kung nasaan siya dito. Sa display ba siya or sa about? Sa about ata. About. Uh, control R dialog box. Okay, eto, eto na ata siya. DX diag. Ah, okay. Control, hindi, start R. Control R ba or start R? sa yung start? Ay, ang tagal ng ano. Ah, oh, eto siya. Eto na lang. Si about na lang. Ayan, ito yung specs ng aking laptop. 4 gig, um, CPU, yan yung i-core niya, i3. i3 nga lang ako, oh. tingnan nyo, I'm not i7, you know, i3 lang. So, 64 bit. Ito yung sinasabi kong CPU, guys. Um, malaking tulong kapag ka 4 cores CPU kayo. Okay, so yan lang naman yung akin, di ba? Mabilis kasi yung internet ko mabilis. <laughs> Alright, so guys, it's already 10.19 and I'm really glad that I got to talk to you, I got to see your faces and nakapag-share ako ng knowledge sa inyo. 
And uh, if you have some uh, recommendation just like the other students na nag-recommend sa akin kung ano yung pwede kong i-discuss, I search for it and uh, hopefully may discuss ko siya sa ibang araw. And guys, we still have like a lot of to discuss guys. Andito pa rin tayo sa WooCommerce so I would suggest sa mga bago dyan. Alright, na you need to uh, watch the previous videos that we have discussed before sa yung mga klase natin. So, next discussion would be edit sub shop page by adding multiple products next time. Yun yung gagawin na nating CSS. Hindi ko siya natackle ngayon kasi it's uh, 10.20 na. Um, time's up na. Pero at least meron na tayong i-edit. So, if you're into this class, okay, kindly check your, kindly check your... Uh, kindly check the what did I miss class, okay? So, it's really nice to talk to you guys. And if you still have time, I would really appreciate if you take time and answer the survey, please, for me. So, para makapag-improve pa ako sa, sa class, eh, okay? I would really love to hear your your reviews. And thank you so much. Kumain na kayo, okay? And uh, mag-sleep kayo. And if you have some questions, you can always ask me. Part 7, no? Part 7. Tagat tuya kayo ang tikwa, Pangasinan. Pangasinan na yung ti Uminggan. Sika nga eh. James Paul. Ilocano ka maggaya. Mga Ilocano. Hello, guys. And I'm from Pangasinan. Pero nandito ako ngayon sa Manila kasi yung work ko nasa Cubao. So, thank you so much again and have a wonderful evening, guys. Good night. And answer the survey for me, okay? Bye-bye.